Hi guys, my name is Mariah and today I'm going to show you my favorite ways to use cursive fonts inside of Adobe Creative Cloud Express. First, let's talk about what is a font. A font is just a stylized or graphic representation of text. Now today I want to talk about using cursive fonts, which are just the more free flowing connected letter form fonts like you see here in this pink text on top. Now let's go ahead and just start with a blank canvas here. And we're going to go ahead and add some text. Now in Creative Cloud Express, you do that by clicking on this text panel right here. Now there are two different ways for you to add text. You can either use these pre-made text lockups that already have fonts and font combinations for you to just switch out the actual text inside the graphic and use in your own project or you can start from scratch by clicking on this add your text button and that's what we're gonna do today. Now to actually edit the text, you're gonna go over to this panel here on the right side and you're going to type the text inside of this box. You can change how many lines of text there are by just clicking and dragging. You can move it around, center it, etc. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually change this to a cursive font and you're gonna do this by clicking this drop down menu. Now you can see here, these are all of the fonts you can choose from inside of Creative Cloud Express. There are tons of them, but for this project, we're gonna find a cursive font, which we can do by going to more fonts and choosing the cursive category. You'll see there's tons of categories here. We're gonna go into the cursive category and we're just gonna go ahead and choose our favorite. One of my favorites is Beloved Script. We're gonna choose that one, and you'll see it adds it to the text we had selected. All right, so the first guideline I want you to follow while using cursive fonts is to never have your cursive text be in all capitals. Let me show you what I mean. As you can see here, when a cursive font is in all capitals, it's really hard to read. It loses its beautiful free flowingness. The legibility of the text inside your graphic is key for the success of your project. So in this case, this is really hard to read and it's not an effective way to use the cursive fonts. Now, the next rule I want you to keep in mind is to not add spacing in between your letters. Let me show you what I mean. So if you go into the text panel over here, there's actually a spacing button. If you click on it, it's going to have a couple different spacing options. Letter spacing, if we were to increase it, you'll see that our letters get further apart. Now the thing about cursive fonts is that cursive text is literally supposed to all connect, right? So if you actually add spacing between the letters, it totally negates the purpose of using a cursive font in the first place. So go ahead and just keep that letter spacing tight. If you wanna space your letters apart, use it for fonts that are not cursive. Now, finally, we wanna use cursive fonts for only small amounts of text. This means for header text, for just a couple words, maybe one to two lines, because it makes it really hard to read otherwise. And the thing about paragraphs of text is you want it to be easily legible. Like I said, the main point of your graphic is to make sure that your text is very legible. And that is just not going to happen if you use cursive text in your paragraph styles. Now quickly, I just want to show you a few of my favorite fonts inside of Creative Cloud Express that you can use. First is this beloved script font. I think it's so cute and so playful, but it's also very legible, which as we've talked about is super important inside of your projects. Next, we have this Maidlinette Grand font. I really like this one because it looks like an actual calligrapher did it. Next, we have Parkside Hairline. I love how dainty and simple this one is, but also again, this one's very legible. So this would be really great for header text inside of a like an advertisement, a graphic, a social media graphic, et cetera. And then finally, we have La Bohemian Regular. And what I love about this one is it also looks really handmade. It's perfect for wedding invitations and just like a wedding suite in general. Um, any type of event that feels a little more high end and classy, this would be a great accent font to use throughout those graphics. 
Now, I hope you're inspired to try some new fonts. I want you to leave a comment down below and let me know which cursive font is your favorite. Thanks so much for watching.